Good morning, everyone. Hope you are all well. All right, today we're going to talk about fears and phobias. So let's look at the first picture. Okay, Sonia, what does this mean to you? This person looks like he's unhappy because he's lonely. I've always had a fear of being alone. I like to have a lot of friends. So I wouldn't like to be in this situation. Yes, I think that's how most people feel. But loneliness is quite a big problem in modern society. You need to keep your friends and family close. So, the second picture, Brandon, do you have a phobia about blood? Not really. But I do understand that many people have a phobia about blood and injections. And recently, many people have had a phobia about vaccines. It's natural to have a fear about something that might affect the body. But I think I'm only afraid when I see a lot of blood. Yes, I agree. A lot of blood would mean something more serious. Number three, what does this mean to you, near Ja? Some people are terrified of water. They are afraid of drowning. I believe this is why many parents teach their children to swim when they are quite young. So they won't panic when they are near water. If they don't learn to swim when they are young, they could have this fear all their lives. So we can overcome some fears if we face them when we are young. That's a good point. Number four is also a fear that is only experienced by some people. Sarah, what is this fear? This is a fear of bridges. Actually, when I was younger, I was afraid of going over bridges. Of course, this is also a fear of heights. But I don't have that fear anymore. It just disappeared. I don't know why. That's interesting. I think some fears are difficult to explain. All right, number five is more of a social fear. Can you explain this fear, Connor? A fear of failure. I think that everyone has this fear to some extent. But for some, it becomes an extreme fear. If your parents put too much pressure on you, you might always feel you are not good enough. You're always afraid of disappointing them. And often, you need to experience failure before you can become successful. Number six is a common fear, I think. And not so serious. Abeo, what's your opinion? I think nearly everyone who works for a company has a fear of the boss. There are many reasons. For example, I am terrified of being called into his office. I might lose my job. And I panic when I am running late. My boss might shout at me. Also, I'm afraid if he walks near my desk as he will give me extra work if he sees me. Sounds like you should work for yourself to avoid this fear. So Emily, what about picture 7? Yes, this is a less common fear, but some people have a phobia about germs and bacteria. They are always cleaning everything they touch. And they might even refuse to shake hands. Or they might wear gloves. Hmm, that's quite antisocial, isn't it? Number 8 might be an antisocial phobia too. Rosa, what is this person afraid of? Oh, this could be me. I have a phobia about crowded places. I used to live in a village in the mountains and I like a lot of space around me. I'm scared of small spaces crowded with people. I feel uncomfortable in crowded lifts or on crowded buses or trains. And I don't even like busy shopping malls. I just want to escape. Well, that's a problem because you face these situations every day, don't you? But you don't see sharks every day. Eric, how do you feel about sharks? Do you have a phobia about sharks? I like sharks. They are interesting creatures but most people see sharks as a kind of monster. People fear sharks because they can't control their imagination. They don't feel strong or confident about what's under the water. And, of course, movies and news reports just make this fear worse. Okay, so the last fear is very common, isn't it, Imani? Yes, people everywhere in the world are afraid of the duck. It's a bit similar to sharks as it is a fear of the unknown. But while there are few sharks, everyone experiences darkness. 
Many kinds of dangerous things can be hidden in the dark. Monsters, ghosts, robbers. People can imagine so many evil things in the dark. Yes, that's true. And guess what? It's dark. And time to go home. Thank you everyone, and have a safe trip home. This was an ESL Flow production.